Hi guys, Bink here. This is episode 41 of Let's Learn Aegean Civil War 2. We are resuming at early June 1862. Um, let's see, I think last episode we just executed the turn and went through all of the messages, if I recall. Um, McClellan is, has got a entrenchment value of 5. Looks like he's got a different icon or a different graphic here than the uh, than the other the other units. And I believe you can get there uh, at the higher entrenchment levels. You have to have a certain number of, uh, of artillery to do that. Well, let's start here with uh, McClellan. Whipple, he uh, he's a guy that had his uh, death ride to glory here down in uh, Charlottesville, if I recall. Wow, 3,200. Wow. So we have Beauregard here. We have Longstreet's detachment. We have a division. We've got something. Oh, Huger's Corps. UG, actually, UG's core. That's only half of it. What's the rest of that? 31st Division with a thousand, a th nearly a thousand power on a division. Wow. Um, we've got a detection value of four here. He's got a hide value of two. Hmm. <laughs> Well, let's see what we're going to do. Um, we need to maybe ord here. Nice hairdo. Um, dismissing McClellan would take us 11 national morale and 302 victory points. You know, we've certainly been lower than, than whatever 11 off of where we're at now would do. Anyway, we're going to have um, Ord become our next division commander. Uh, we'll put these units in, see what he looks like. That gives him 13. Uh, he needs some more infantry. He doesn't have any cavalry either. Well, right now I'm going to, uh, because of what's going on, we're going to move him up to this other core. Eight days. There's no need to railroad him. Um, now I'll Sumner keeps getting uh, he keeps getting unactivated, which is causing a bit of a problem here. So let's take Mansfield. We'll put Mansfield in a region by himself, just his division, and we are going to take him apart. And what else? We had MacArthur. Let's put MacArthur here. Um, we're going to promote Mansfield. Nobody will be mad. Oh, who will be mad? Thomas will be mad. Cost us 15 victory points. We don't want Thomas. Yeah, I, I, I'd like to just not do those in general when those happen. Hmm. <laughs> well, what I'm actually going to do, though, we're actually going to take Mansfield off of Division Command. We're going to put MacArthur on Division Command. Take the single division, combine him. So Mansfield is no longer part of the Army of Potomac. He is independent. We have uh, Sumner back here with the Army. Um, engineer ability. This, I believe, has a siege bonus. We're going to give this to Mansfield, put Mansfield on assault. He's the one that's going to take care of uh, Fredericksburg. And the first corps is just going to sit here. Oh, I think we were going to advance them, weren't we? Let's advance them into Louisa, Louisa, Virginia. Start, start kind of putting the putting the noose around Richmond here. Um, back at McClellan. McClellan is down to just a. That's that captured battery that we we did here a while back. 
So we will, let's see, what is what is currently sitting here is uh, this division. That's a, that's a nice strong division there in that core. Um, back here with Banks, let's go ahead and put him on, uh, on an assault. Actually, that's a very small, that's a very small force there. Let's not put him on assault. Let's leave him on defense. Let's take uh, the 5th Division and Dix. We're going to do the same kind of a thing that we did with uh, on the other side of the line here. Um, we're going to put Dix on Assault. So we're not going to have our whole force sitting here on Assault, I think. I think that's the thing I'm going to do. So Dix will Assault uh, Rock Bridge and take out this unit here and then the remainder of Banks's army is going to remain here on um, on defense. Now our, we're starting to burn through our supply a little bit more than we have here but we're okay. We're going to open up this uh, we're going to open up this, uh, oh we do have that open now because that gives us enough military control this now we've got that rail line opened up so that should that should help out with uh, with Rockingham Virginia here we should probably get this taken care of as well who's moving here 16th division to here okay um, I think we'll do that And that will be what we're doing here. Let's look at what... Oh, now, this is interesting. Whatever is here, B's division. Now, our cohesion is not great. But we're going to... We're going to go ahead and, and attack him, I think. Or at least try to. See what happens. In this region here now um, I'm concerned we, we're facing a force right here of uh, Smith here Smith is a core in somebody's army here's the army of Tennessee so this is probably a core in this army and this army has at least two divisions here I think it would be prudent to fall back and what I'm actually going to do is take Gilbert's core and, and recombine him back with the army. And we're going to fall back to Bowling Green. And the reason I recombine them those there is so that they will stay together to ensure that they're both, uh, that everybody um, fights at the same time. So what do we got here? We got 14 here, 18 here, 8 here. So this unit is low on infantry. This unit I believe is also a bit low. Um, so I'm going to take the 20th division here and put this brigade in with them. And then these two cavalry units. I think we may just leave those. We have plenty of supply. Leave these as uh, as uh, just within the army here. Our, our cohesion bounced back real good, but uh, I think we need to pull back. I wonder if there's any uh, destruct destroying we can do while we're here. We could destroy this rail line. If we're going to retreat, let's go ahead and destroy that rail line. That is going to take a few days and, and keep us and keep us in this region. But we're gonna we're gonna come back to Bowling Green. He could attack us. We could definitely get attacked here. Um so we're gonna fall back to Bowling Green may have to fall back farther depending on what kind of force they're bringing up here this this uh, army this army really needs a, at least another division um, now if we do have to fall back beyond Bowling Green um, 
we'll blow this depot if we do and, and basically tear up the railroad on our way and we'll get back if need be um, just to right here or maybe back here to get behind a river line I hope hopefully we don't have to fall all the way back to Louisville but that's where we're gonna sit right now we got Rosecrans there don't know what we're gonna do with him but that's my thought here we'll just fall back um, we do have a force here um, why is our, det oh, our detection is only three here probably because we don't have any force outside of Cairo here. What's actually do we have in Cairo? Uh, we have Kearney here, Cairo Garrison, HQ support. Let's take everybody that's actually... Let's stick him with Cairo Garrison inside. We have some fleets. Um not too bad here we're not gonna we're certainly in no danger of of collapsing imminently we don't know what this force is hmm hmm <laughs> we need to get um we need to get uh grant across the river preferably not a cross river attack come around this side. I think we have plenty of time. What if we did this? 22. Ah! What is this? Is it mud? It's mud. Ah! Let's look at the weather. Mud. That's perfect mud for the other team. Well, let's just start moving him around here anyway and, and try something like that so we're not in a cross-river attack. Hopefully the weather breaks before then so we're not ending up with 49 days. Um... What if we were to take these forces now? Why don't we just combine the whole mess, stick them out here, maybe stick them out here, put them on offensive, and also put them on fleet bombardment, and maybe these gunboats will do some damage to this force. It's a division, at least, or maybe at most. We have Walker plus Zollicoffer's division. We only have one division here under Grant. We're sending two divisions this direction. Hmm, and he doesn't really have much here, does he? He's already at 18. We could maybe... I would like to not completely make this force completely gone. Hmm, we need more troops down here, too. We need more, more troops everywhere, don't we? Well, we'll try to, to uh, take care of this. This I'm pretty impressed with this. This is uh, an actual reasonable move by, by the Confederates here. It's nothing that's sending something back into, you know, deep a deep raid that is going to get cut off. That's actually... That's actually a move that I could conceive a player making, so I'm pretty impressed with uh, with uh, with the settings that we've ended up with here. Okay, back here we do have this guy here. Um, this these generals are going to be getting there soon. Um, the f the force that we were here to defend against is gone. That was Polk's force. I don't know where they've ended up now. Probably fallen back at some point. Maybe the Poplar Bluff? I don't know. I'm going to take this unit and send him down here to combine here. When these guys... What do we got in Fremont's force? Fremont has got plenty of leaders, so when Fremont... Well, Fremont will get here in 13 days. Let's send these units actually ahead to here to ensure that we get uh, some leadership here. And we'll take care of this and see what we need to do before we... I uh, have to advance any farther. Sizable force here. Sizable force. We're going to have to... Uh, we're in the hills. Let's dig in a bit. What do we got going on up here? This force, let's... Now he's 
he's attacking Riley, Fort Riley. Let's uh, let's let's go get him if we can. What did we have here? We have uh, three regiments of uh, Cherokees, power 53. So it's uh, maybe rather than targeting the unit, let's just target the region. And this unit here will put him back to regular offensive. And we're going to bring him to attack Fort Scott. I'm, rather than moving him directly into Fort Scott across the river, we're going to take the time to cross the river up here and come down and strike him without the uh, river penalty, I'm thinking. Or, or, maybe let's just take this guy down here in four days' time. This is a unit that we've already, I believe we've hit before. You see his little, his red bar here, it's about half. So why don't we do that instead? Um, we're good here. We have no defense here, that's poor. Anybody we can drop off, nothing we got here. Nothing we got here. We have in Rolla, we have one regiment of militia back here in St. Louis. We have nothing. Oh, hmm, what do we got here? What do we got here? I wonder if we want to take some force back to Springfield. Hmm, if we lose that uh, depot, that's that's not good. Maybe we're going to need to send this brigade of, of uh, send this brigade back. That's a lot of, um, mm, mm, mm. I think we're going to do that just to defend this in case something should come out of nowhere because Polk was around here somewhere and this is a strategic town I think we'll do that alright let's uh, go through the units well let's take a quick look see out west first um, we've taken Tucson is there anything we can leave here that makes any sense we could leave that one unit of uh, Union regulars why don't we do that? Take this, we'll divide this up, and we'll put him back together without this. We will leave the Union regulars here as a Tucson garrison and bring these down here. We've got, is it mud? No, it's just going to take a long time. 41 days to get there. What about to go this way? Would be considerably more. Okay, so we'll bring him down here uh, in a defensive mode, I think. I think when you move in offensive mode, you take more attrition damage. I'm not 100% sure. Now, here our supply situation is starting to degrade here. We're using 18 a turn and we have 67. So we've got several turns here. I'm guessing there'll be some. Uh, I'm guessing there's going to be some sly down here. Why don't we come down here and assault Fort Thorn and see if we can pick up some supply. <laughs> and in the meantime, Canby's coming down. And then we'll take out uh, Masilla, Masia, Masia probably. And we got here, we don't really know. We got fog of war. We have a detection of one here. So we'll bring, we'll bring this guy down and, and we'll take out Fort Thorn and that will also give us some, some intel on what's going on in El Paso, I think. This unit will just stay put. He's well entrenched now. This unit, there's not a whole lot to be done with him. This partisan unit, he'll just stay here and essentially be the garrison of uh, of that of that of that area I think the Empire Brigade these were the New York units we'll bring that down to McClellan by rail our rail is naval or rivers looking really good now and uh, rail we it could be better but it's not bad 
the more we get, the, the greater the flexibility we have in being able to move to move large forces by rail, and still and still preserve our supply our, mo our supply moving capability. What else do we have here? We get some more stuff that we're apparently building here. All right, Empire Brigade, the contrabands, they'll just hang out here, I think. Why are they on, oh, let's put them on passive. I can't imagine they've got much of a uh, combat capability. Um, shields, shields got wiped out again. Let's take shields back to Washington. Foster, this is our, um, that was our, what am I trying to say? Um, that's our uh, leader pool, leader pool. So we'll put this guy down to defensive. We'll bring him up to be the new market garrison. This is, this is opened our, uh, we've got con enough control down here to, uh, to use the rail. That's good. Next, uh, McClellan again is just going to sit here, I think. Shirts. We don't really need to be there anymore. We'll bring these up to New Market as well. Milroy, going to have an attack up here. Franklin's division is just is just basically consolidating here and digging in. We got a bunch of uh, bunch of force up here in Charlottesville. I think it looks like um, both of these regions where we have our cores are adjacent to um, Culpepper here. So potentially these units could, could move into support if he's attacked. Um, next, Mansfield is going to assault Fredericksburg. reason we'll see if he if he does good attacking Fredericksburg will promote him how about that how about that McDowell has got a decent um, a decent force here um, what would we do what if we took this uh, cavalry force back out of here uh, he's still half supply that's what that's kind of what we're thinking about we put him back in here to resupply so let that supply get stabilized, and then we'll we'll move him out somewhere. We have a brigade of regular. Oh. Oh, this is some Kentucky some Kentucky force that we uh, raised up for uh, for Buell. Um, why don't okay, let's just send them here to meet up in Bowling Green. When the, when the army comes up, I don't think we have. Um, yeah, we could actually railroad him all the way into here. That may be of some value to do that, so we'll do that. Osterhaus and Marsh. Osterhaus was, I think, I think I remember that name from Battle of Pea Ridge, if I'm not mistaken. Elkhorn Tavern. Under, uh, Curtis against Van Dorn, thinking, maybe. Um, these guys are just going to hang out here, wait for these other forces to come up. Banks is going to stay put here. This colored regiment. Oh, let's stick them in with Ricketts Force and actually combine them with this division, which we should be able to do. No, we can't. We've got too much. Really? Oh, maybe I was just doing it wrong. No, we can put one or the other here, perhaps. Thirteen elements. Oh, I, we probably can't combine it with this Indian unit, I would guess. Yeah. So we'll put that in here. What's our... We got a 10%. 10% deal from that. I wonder, rather, though, what if we send the Indian unit... 
itself. What if we sent that up here? To Fort Riley. And it will combine with uh, this force here, Asbuts. Perhaps. Perhaps. Okay. Dix is going to assault there. Morel. Morel. I th oh, I think he was he was injured, perhaps, wasn't he? In one of our various battles. Let's send him to meet up with Rosecrans there. Rosecrans, and I think. Butler's force sitting outside. Um, oh, that's what that little red line was. We'll sit here, recover our... We'll put him on it defensive posture in uh, in here what do we know that's there we have RE Lee's command I think that is going to be primarily the uh, the fixed forces or that Lee is in command there the fixed forces that are in in Richmond similar to how we have a bunch of uh, forces in, in Washington that can't move so I think we'll just sit tight there Um, Halleck, Halleck, I guess we'll just sit tight here. Rosecrans, sit tight. Lion, we've got him determined. He'll just sit there. Oh, golly. Can be, he's got his thing going. This unit here is going to be a sentry. We don't want him on that. We want him here. He's going to be a garrison, rather. I'm still torn about whether or not I should send that other force away. You know, I think I don't. I think I shouldn't do that. I'm going to leave that in Lion. Because we've got some, potentially some force coming up here that is going to want to take this back. And I think we'll be able to guard Springfield with something. Why don't we? Here's a thought. Why don't we break up this division? Put it back together. Leave that brigade in Springfield. So at least we'll have some some defense there. I think that makes better sense because Fremont's going to head back head back towards St. Louis, pick up some some more troops. In fact this other battery. We might as well include that in here. Plenty of plenty of leadership here. We'll do that, I think. And that way Lion can still have have a, a, a you know that was a that was a quarter of his force or more or a quarter of his strength. His force and his force his power um, value. So I think that makes more sense. Uh, Morton, you're going to just sit here for now, and that's it. Go to this unit, Warden. Oh, they're quite low in cohesion. What's the weather here? Fair weather. We're going to stick these guys inside Fort Monroe. Dahlgren, we're going to sit outside for one more turn. Flatboats. Let's get the flatboats out. Flatboats. Disband. We'll destroy those flatboats. Transports, Atlantic squadrons looking good. Um, mm -hmm. I think we're doing all right here. Merchant ships doing all right. Um, these guys need to get under cover. Get some uh, that cohesion recovered. Um, we'll get the. Uh, this unit, is he recovered out over here? Not quite. Let's give him one more turn and bring him back to here. OK, 
Okay, so that's good, and that's right at 30 minutes, too. Okay, so we've got lots of money. Um, what can we do? We still need to build more troops. Let's build a couple of these, because we've got apparently a bunch of losses to, to make up. Light infantry, build a few of those. Nothing else is sitting at zero. Elite infantry, let's build a couple of those. That's what we're doing apparently instead of building troops. We're going to build some of these. Okay, and that's taking a big chunk of our manpower. Um, let's increase the river and the rail pool again. Okay, we've got a lot of, not a lot, lot, but a good chunk. Let's, again, I want to just build more infantry over here. Ah, who needs more? You, everybody needs more. That's the problem. Everybody needs more. We've got Lancaster, Pennsylvania. We've got New York. We've got Pennsylvania. Um, Pennsylvania. We've, everything we got here is going to the east. I think we need more strength in Kentucky. So let's look at doing that real quick. Old Northwest. Infantry. Some Ohio infantry. Forty money. Forty money either way. Scripps, Michigan, West Virginia, Ohio, more Ohio, Michigan. Let's let's take this unit here up to Ohio. Uh oh! Oh, there we go. Oh, we had a problem there. We're good. Ohio or Indiana. Let's go with Ohio. Let's go to Cincinnati. One, two, three, four, five, six. And go to artillery in Ohio. Okay, so that was essentially building a division. Let's go back to infantry. Um, Indiana, one, two, three, four, back to artillery in Indiana, artillery, one, two. Okay, that's looking fairly decent now, I think. We're getting, getting something coming up. Put that on all. We can't build any of these things. Um, we built some horse artillery. Let's do that in Indiana, because we do have a couple cavalry units down there. Maybe we'll combine them up into one of them little brigades like we had with Carney before he got wiped out. Okay, so that's our builds. Um, let's do the these. We don't have any money, so there's not a lot we can do. Oh, we can build one telegraph line somewhere. Ah, uh, <laughs> Munfordville, Munford, or Bowling Green. I don't really want to do Bowling Green because we might not have it very long. We'll build it right there. And, oh, we still got more money. Build it in here. I wonder why we're able to do that when we don't have the money. Oh, it's probably just going to deduct it from us when we're done. I guess. I don't know. We'll find out. Uh, we're going to put a break in here, and we'll come back in episode 42, and we will process the turn for early June 1862. Alrighty, see you later.